President Obama's planned visit to the Islamic Republic's arch rival, Saudi Arabia. The president is expected to meet privately on Wednesday with King Salman. Now, they have met before, but this week's visit comes as the Saudis are reportedly threatening to sell off billions of dollars in American assets if our Congress passes a bipartisan bill that could allow victims of 9-11 to sue the Saudi government. Fifteen of the 19 hijackers, as you know by now, were from that nation. Saudi officials have long denied any role in the plot, but there has always been suspicion remaining that less senior officials or parts of the Saudi government may have played a role. I want to come to you, Congressman, get your thoughts on this. I, I think it is appropriate to release all the information that we have, given that 9-11 uh, happened so long ago. And we in this country err on the side of openness and transparency, and we let, those, uh, let the, the facts dictate. But we should not be intimidated by any country, uh, any country, on releasing the truth. What, what, what are they afraid of? And if, if it's not true, then make their case. But if it is true, I think the victims, the families in our country need to, just need to see that. So as I'm reading it, it's roughly 28 pages of classified information that would tell us, in your estimation, what about the situation? It does shed light on some of the financing. It does shed light on, on who is suspected to have been involved. And I think that information should be made public. That's how I'd vote. So the Saudi foreign minister is, is speaking of the, the, the economic threat that they, are, uh, they say exists, $750 billion in treasury sec uh, securities, other assets in the United States. They said that they would sell off. Uh, economists are looking at this saying that wouldn't really be possible. Um, do you see any reality to those threats? Um, I happen to know the Saudi foreign foreign minister. I have not spoken with him about this, but um, I've got to believe that uh, th that they would do ultimately the right thing. I don't know that that is the right reaction to that. These are news reports. I'm sure the State Department and others are having these types of discussions with them. But I just think you, as, as the United States, as a member of Congress, we vote for openness and transparency and the truth. Andrea? Uh, I hope that everybody votes in favor of this bill and we do get the truth. And I think, I mean, Sandra, you're the business expert on the couch. To have a foreign country like the Saudis that has been spending billions funding Wahhabism, mm -hmm. Wahhabi Mosque, anti-Western propaganda for decades to threaten the U.S. economy mm -hmm. with those assets, I think is ludicrous. I mean, we need to, at minimum, turn them into a pariah state, much like we did with Iran. I mean, and what, what Obama did with the Iran deal is essentially create an arms race between the two of them. I mean. When, when Iran took our sailors and had them abandon their weapons and drop to their knees, that wasn't a message directed at the United States of America before they were getting their $150 billion. You're not going to thumb your nose at the person who's given you money. That was a message to the Saudis. That was saying, look at us, we're more powerful. We're the Shia, you're the Sunni. We're going to humiliate the United States of America to show how strong we are. Why are we continuously giving them money, Congressman? $89 billion in refugees. We're cozying up to them. We've seen the last administration, the Bush administration, cozy up to the Saudis. Isn't it time? Time now to wake up and realize Saudi Arabia is not our friend? Well, the, the real threat, I think, is actually in Iran because just across the Arabian Sea from Saudi Arabia is Iran. We should actually be working with our partners in the region to focus on Iran. And when the president gives the $100 billion back to the Iranians, then they put all those weapons on parade. You know, hey, isn't that nice that they show how they spent the U.S. money? They did spend that money in Russia to buy the weapons that they put on parade. And then they buzz our U.S. ships, and we're, yeah. we're, the president's left wondering what in the world happened. But also, you know, Saudi Arabia, I, I agree with Sandra, they're not going to tank their economy by selling off. It'll we'll cripple them more than us. Absolutely mm. yeah. it will. Um, you know, and, and uh, of course we have to be mindful of Iran becoming a hegemon in the Middle East, but that doesn't mean that we need to uh, support and appease these dictatorships who, you know, not only support Wahhabism, but have a horrible record on human rights. And, and have you read those 28 pages. How high up does it go in the Saudi government? Uh, I believe I that the, the victims' families in this country deserve to know exactly what the Saudi Arabian government is accountable mm. for. I do believe that that information should become public. I obviously can't talk about classified materials, mm -hmm. but this is why we have to become energy independent. We should not have to look to the Middle East in order to get our energy needs. Thank you. Become <laughs> energy independent. We don't have these problems. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the we are more and more, aren't is, we, Congressman? Yes. What happened with Iran and our military? Right. I mean, it's, we did it's this all backwards. They gave the president the Nobel Peace Prize at the start, and then they started giving the Iranians billions of dollars, and now we wonder why we're having trouble. Well, and their friends Russia, look at what they do. I yeah. Mean, they, yeah. Okay. So we'll move on. Possible new concerns for Hillary Clinton. Lawmakers are preparing to release.